Hey, 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 it's Tia, baby. And I am back with another video. So I'm being a little quiet again because it is sleep time. And I know I'm a little late in the game with the video. And I don't know, I got to get... I got to get the baby on a sleep schedule because he's all over the place. One minute he sleeps at 10, a, 10, in the, 10 at night, then, you know, one minute he sleeps at 1 in the morning. And I know he's just fighting his sleep because I know he's been sleepy, but he just likes to stay up because I'm up and I try to lay down with him so he can go to sleep, but he just would not cooperate. Some days he does, some nights he doesn't. I don't know, but we'll get it together. Because it's about time for me to go back to work soon. So, really soon, unfortunately. But, yeah. So, I am going to make a short video um, about the rumors. Allegedly, Chris Perez had cheated on his second wife, um, Vanessa um Villa Nueva um on yeah he cheated on her with Melissa Jimenez song the the MJ songstress um allegedly so I've I mean yes I've read some of the comments and and um people were talking about it but I heard about that rumor years ago which is why one of the reasons why I did well, not one of the reasons. I'm, I'm not even going to say that. But I know I did a video a year ago, or maybe two years ago. I think, yeah, I think two years ago um, about his marriage, his his second marriage. And I included um, Melissa in it, I believe so. But if not, I know some, I know I've um, someone told me about it back then. Um, either through email or in the comments. And I think I've read it somewhere, but then again, I don't think I read it anywhere because I tried to um look look research it um last night and I didn't see anything about him cheating cheating on her with Melissa. Um but I but I keep hearing this rumor that he did. So what I did hear from several people um a year a year or two ago and recently they all saying the same thing um one room i heard that allegedly back in um 2008 which is the same year he separated from his wife or divorced from his second wife um but actually that wasn't that year but I do recall her being friends or cool with ABCDFG. Why? Because she did a song with Cumbia Kings, who Chris Perez was once a part of. Um, and I think I'll have I'll have a clip of the performance, but I'm not gonna play the sound because of copyright. And during that performance afterwards. I think it was an award show. He, Chris Perez was allegedly highly drunk. Um, they did, because um, it was a speech that Cumbia Kings had um, made. I think um, Chris Perez said something. He was standing next to Suzette. Um, Chris was, sounded very intoxicated. And I don't know if they were partying before the performance, um, or I mean before the ceremony, or they were Gary's party, and so he was just, you know, getting some, getting, you know, what is it called, a head start on it. I don't know, but he was highly drunk. That's what it appeared to be, um, and I know that was during that was like two thousand eight. So that was during that period where he was still battling with. Um, addiction, um, substance abuse, as well as alcohol, um, which is the why, which is the reason behind the main reason behind the demise of his second marriage. So that's what I already talked about this in that video, but I will elaborate. So basically, 
we all know that Selena and Chris were married and then he, she passes away and Chris was not handling very well at all. Like he was, he wasn't eating and you can tell during the funeral that the clothes was like falling off of him and he also elaborated on this in the book. Um, and he was experimenting with, um, substance, um, abuse and alcohol a lot and to cope with his grieving, um, because he wasn't doing well without, he wasn't doing well as a whole. Um, he was just isolated himself. He was just a mess out after her demise and um you know friends was trying to help him and then like he was going through it for years um until like 99 and his friend John Garza I think that's his name you know introduced him to Vanessa um and Vanessa and him became friends he clinged to her because she helped she aided him allegedly aided him in, you know, getting back on his feet and um, getting over the grief of losing Selena, which helped in the, initially. Um, and that's, and then they fell in love and then they got married. But throughout the marriage, it was a battle with her because, uh, I mean, allegedly, he was, you know, avoiding the marriage as a whole like he was out partying drinking you know doing um you know experimenting in recreational um things and um yeah so and he was barely home and so it took a toll on the marriage and it took a toll on Vanessa um but I think at the time she, I don't think she knew why she may have had an idea, but I don't think she knew why he was doing these things because he didn't say he was never home, allegedly, um, because she thought that he was coped with Selena's death because she helped aid him, allegedly. So, I, I mean, I, okay, so s s pausing on the marriage part, the cheating accusations. So I've heard, I've read um, from several people a year ago, year or two ago when I made the first video and recently in the comments and I think email that during that time when he was out partying and still experimenting with, you know, alcohol and things like that, um, that he met Melissa in the club. Um, initially met her in the club, even though she sung, you know, a song or two with the Cumbia Kings, I think he first met her in the club. Um, and they found out that she was a singer or something like that. I could be wrong or it could be the other way around. Maybe he met her through ABCDFG and then they were out clubbing together. It was one or the other. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is allegedly. And so she was hanging out with Chris a lot in these clubs and he allegedly was messing with her. Um, now granted, early 2000s, I told you that Chris and Melissa are have a big age gap, a 15 year age gap, I believe. She's um, like 37 maybe 38 i think she's 37 um no she's 38 she i think yeah she turned she just turned 38 he is he will be 54 yeah 54 because he was he was two years older than selena so yeah he'll be 54 this year in august i think let me, let me, let me, because Selena, it would, would have been 51 this year. So he would be turning 53 this year in August. She would, she is 38. She just turned 38 in April. 
Mind you, yes, her birthday is a day after Selena's birthday. Um, I don't know. I just think that's just a coincidence. I don't know for certain if he was out to seek her because they're both Aries and because he may not even follow horoscopes and stuff like that or, you know, things like that. Um, but so if you're speaking on, if people are speaking on the early 2000s, like between 20, 2005 to 2008, she was about 20 in her early 20s. So probably about Selena's age back then. And he was in his early 30s back then. So you saying 2005. Um, so she was probably 22, yeah, 22, he was like mid-30s, so yeah, he was probably about mid-30s, um, I mean, it's still legal because she's over 21, she's 21, over 18, I mean, but, I mean, whatever, from what I was told, well, from what I was told, allegedly they were, you know, hanging out at the clubs, and I guess he spent more times in the clubs than he did at home, and it took a toll on their marriage. And um, she eventually filed for divorce because of you know irreconcilable differences. Um, the normal thing that most celebrities use because they couldn't get their marriage together. So from what I read in the article that what caused their relationship to demise is because he was barely home. He avoided the whole marriage thing as a whole because allegedly he was out at the clubs a lot, partying, drinking, you know, using recreational items because I don't want to say the word because I don't want you two to be getting off after me um and allegedly I guess mess around with her I didn't read that part I didn't see anything in writing that he was he cheated on his wife with her I read that he was using um substance um items and um alcohol and he barely he barely was home um, and, um, uh, it wasn't until around the time when he and her, let, um, divorce or filed that the reason why he was very much out all the time and still using and still drinking and doing all these things to avoid the pain of losing Selena. So he still was not over Selena, even though I guess she thought that he was because she helped aid him. And I guess at the moment, he probably did feel a little better, but he wasn't. Um, he wasn't. And that's what caused him to do what he was doing. Um, and so she just couldn't take it anymore. She couldn't take living in the shadows of his late wife. Also, him not being attentive to her and all of that. So they divorced. Um, we didn't this Melissa character didn't start coming out until I didn't start you know, hearing about her until about 2017. She could have been in the picture way before that, but I didn't find out about her until 2017, around that era, around that time. It was um, pictures of her holding up a ring and all of that, and now she doesn't. I don't know. I Like I said, if that's true, more power to him. But he hasn't came out and said anything. I haven't heard him say nothing. So I ain't claiming that relationship at all until he actually say, I, Chris Perez, is engaged or is in a relationship with Melissa Jimenez. Then that's when I'll believe it. But until then, I ain't saying nothing. I mean, I ain't, mm -mm. I ain't believing nothing. People may have said, oh, she did, or he did say it. I didn't hear him say it. So I'm not claim, I'm not confirming that. Um, do what they want to do. I mean, I don't personally like them together. 
because of the age difference and because if that is true that she cheated that she was the the mistress yeah i don't condone that at all like i just think that that's totally wrong to be dating somebody that you cheated on your wife with I'm like that's wrong that's just wrong and i mean no but i can't say that that was true unless or it's all alleged but if that's who he chose to be in his life then nobody can change that but him and god and her um People say, oh, they have similar personalities. Where? I don't, I mean, I don't even know the girl. I don't, I don't watch her videos or, or listen to her music. I've heard snippets of her songs. She's all right, but she gives me, like I said, Lady Gaga. She looked like Lady Gaga in the face. She looks really rough in the face. She looks like Lady Gaga to me. But personality, I can't say because I don't know her. But I know she's a huge fan of Selena. They, that's one common interest that they have together is Selena. She's a huge fan of Selena. He's a huge fan of Selena, and not on not because not only because that's her, that was his wife, but because that was they shared music history together. So yeah, he's a big fan of her voice, her music. Her singing, her work ethic. Um, the only similarities I can say with them is that they, her and Selena, has a common interest in in Chris. They both birth, they both Aries, they both, they both, their birthdays are a day apart. They're both Hispanic. Um, they both sing, and they both was affiliated with. Selena's brother. So I mean, I, A B C D and D. So I, I mean, that's the only thing I can say, because I mean, okay, she jumped out of a plane. She's adventurous. That doesn't make her like Selena because I don't even think Selena would do that. She tried bungee jump. That's as close to bungee jumping, and she said she would never do that again because it hurt her back. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she will, but I don't know. But I just don't see the similarities and maybe I just don't want to see it I don't know but um I guess it's just people just need to stop comparing I need to stop comparing because it doesn't do no justice I mean at the end of the day everybody kind of has something similar to someone or something to each other so it is what it is that don't mean nothing um not to a certain extent, but if that is true, those rumors, it's unfortunate that his second wife had to go through that, um, but he, she asked for it. She knew what she was getting herself into when she hooked up with him. She knew that he was, he recently lost his wife. She knew that he was madly in love with his wife because he met, they met each other through his friend. And I'm sure she he told her the relationship they had and how much he cared about and loved this woman. So she knew what she was getting herself into. She still she still pursued it. So you know you can't fault nobody but yourself. However, nobody deserves to be cheated on. That's not cool if that is true. Secondly, yes, she did help him allegedly with trying to get him to cope with losing Selena, but you really can't do much, anything unless he's willing to say he needs help. And more than likely, a therapist would have been sufficient for him. I don't know if he sought therapy. I think in the, in the interview, he said he did seek therapy, but not right away. Um, but yeah. Um, but no one deserves to be cheated on, if that was true. Um, if she was the one that he was cheating on her, his wife with shame on Melissa because I'm sure he knew she was married he was married 
and you sitting up there being a, a mistress. She looked like that type. And I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but looking at her, she looked like a, that type to be somebody's mistress. Like, she looks like that type. Some people, you she give, give off those vibes. She gives off side, ch side chick vibes. So I, if, if it is true, I wouldn't even be shocked because she gives off that. She just look like a side piece, period. Call her what you want, be mad, whatever. She looks like a side piece. I'm not being discriminated. I'm not discriminating her. I'm just saying just by looks, if we're just going by looks, she looks like a side piece. I'm not saying that she is one because I don't know. But she looks like one. But um, I, did, I didn't read anything in reference to him cheating on her, his wife with her. So I can't confirm or deny that. Also, I did read an article, which I did mention in the other video, that his family did not even really like his second wife. They consider her allegedly, you know someone who just likes to spend money and I guess you know allegedly she was spending all of his money well yeah his money especially with the money that he got from you know being in the Selena the Elosinos and all of that and his royalties from Selena um she was spending it allegedly from her from his family that she was just she was just spending that everything but I don't know how true that is. That's just what I read in this article. Also, I read that she also owns a spa, like a business. I think, yes, yeah, some type of spa, similar to Selena. But yeah, she owns one. But currently, she's seeing someone. I don't. I'm. I'm maybe she. I, I'm assuming she's married to him now. But they were in a long term relationship. Um, but she's with someone new. Um, and she's happy from what I've read. So that's good that she found love again. Because she didn't deserve that if those things were true. Um, but like I said, I can't confirm or deny if he cheated on her with Melissa. So I can't, I'm not going to speak on, I'm not going to say he did. Because I didn't, I did not find any information saying that they, that they, or in a that they had an affair. If you found an article or some proof, any of you all, send it to me. You can DM me in my in my um IG or email me at Tia Show. So T I A S H O eight six at gmail.com and then I'll do a video on it. But I couldn't find anything about him allegedly cheating on his second wife with Melissa. So I can't confirm that. But that's all I had today. Um, oh, also, if you get an opportunity to check out the new demo of um, Selena, one of Selena's songs. Um, I liked the song in the advertisement when they advertised um, her new album that's coming out soon. Not the 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 one with the... Um, not the low budget one. It was the one that I posted two days ago. It was. It sounds so smooth and very nice. Um, and um, I do like it. But when I heard the dim, the radio, the cumbia radio edit. I didn't like it. It just didn't sound, it sound computerized, choppy, not choppy, but it just sound computerized and I didn't like the beat. It the, the, the bass, the drum, the drums was too, it was too much of the drums while she was singing. It was like overpowering it. I didn't like it. Um, so I hope they don't release that. But the one that I listened, the snippet that I like, the ballad version, I like that one. Um, yeah, it was smooth. I like it. Um, yeah.
Yeah, I like it. But, um, I think that's all I have today. Because I'm getting sleepy. So, I will get back with you with another video. Peace.